The Calgary Flames kick off the official second half of the season here tonight in St. Louis against the Blues. Game number 42 as we welcome you to Game Over brought to you by McDonald's. Once again, the Flames playing from behind in that first period. A goal by Pavel, uh, Pavel Bushnevich actually banks off uh, defenseman and in. It was a 1-0 early Blues lead, but some th nice response from the Calgary Flames and it comes in twos. The first one, Nazem Kadri hearing love some boo birds from Blues faithful of obviously not forgetting what took place in last year's playoffs. Some history in the second round between the St. Louis Blues and Colorado Avalanche. That kind of carries over into tonight. And as he said post game, he kind of expected them not to forget, and they didn't. But Kadri helped set up the first goal for the Flames. Beautiful feed hitting Milan Lucic back door, fourth of the season, tied it up at one. And then the line of Michael Backlund, Blake Coleman, as well as Andrew Mangiapane. They had a couple of dominant shifts earlier in the period, and then they strike. Uh, at the end of that uh, first period, it's a, a goal from Michael Backlund redirecting and Nikita Zadora. Point shot 2-1 after one in favor of the Calgary Flames. And then early into that second period, in fact, just 62 seconds in, that line does it again. And this time it's Andrew Mangiapane scoring his eighth goal of the season. That line was very good throughout the course of this game tonight. 3-1 uh, after 40 minutes. But then things change in that third period. Two goals from the St. Louis Blues in the opening 28 seconds. Kind of shifts the momentum in this hockey game. Ties it up at three. They actually had a goal... Uh, called back in this hockey game as well. It was in that third period. They thought they'd go up 4-3 on a Robert Thomas marker. It was overturned thanks to a challenge by the Calgary Flames. A successful one at that on the offside at the blue line, Jordan Cairo, but for a second consecutive game and a second consecutive road game, we're off to an extra frame and in overtime. In fact, it was early in that final period uh, that the Blues strike on a two-on-one Cairo to Robert Thomas, and Thomas gets a little measure of revenge. This one counts, and it's the overtime winner as the Blues win it 4-3 the final tonight. The good news is for the Flames, they get a day off here in St. Louis and get another crack at the Blues to try and stay ahead of them in the Western Conference standings here on Thursday night.